We are Mr. and Mrs. James and Pamela Page, and we thank you for the opportunity to be here before you today. We're here representing Justice and Brooke Page, our son and daughter-in-law, who are the parents of Araya Renee Page. We're extremely grateful for this opportunity to come before you all today to speak on the importance of Senate Bill 554, also known as Araya's Act. According to the Kids and Car Safety Organization, 29 children died in 2023 as a result of being left unattended in hot cars. Florida led the nation with seven deaths. Of those 29 children lost, our grandbaby, 10-month-old Araya Renee Page, was number 16 when her babysitter knowingly left her unattended inside her SUV with the doors locked and the windows up. As she went inside to attend to three other children under her care, she said she assumed Araya was asleep. When asked if she'd planned to return to get her, she said no, because she completely forgot she was there. Araya was left unattended in the vehicle from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. when Brooke arrived to pick her up. She was left in that vehicle for five hours on one of the hottest days in the summer of 2023. The CDC says the most serious heat-related illness is heat stroke, which happens when your body can no longer control your body temperature, causing your temperature to rapidly increase and your sweating mechanism fails, leading to your body's inability to cool down. An infant's body temperature can rise three to five times higher than an adult's. Heat stroke begins when the core body temperature can rise to 106 or higher within 10 to 15 minutes. A child can die when their body temperature reaches 107 degrees. When paramedics arrived, Araya's temperature was 110 degrees internally, and that was the highest the thermometer could read. Her external temperature was 102 degrees. Some automakers made a voluntary commitment to install rear seat reminder systems in new vehicles to help combat pediatric heat stroke of children left in vehicles in 2021, Congress passed the Bipartisan Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, which in part calls for vehicles to check uh, vehicle manufacturers to install new technology that allows for an audio and visual reminder alert to check the back seat. This technology is standard in most newer vehicles today, but we can do more because this is 100% preventable. <clears throat> Designating the month of April as Hot Car Prevention Month, I'm sorry, Hot Car Death Prevention Month, and the promotion of um, public education and awareness by the Department of Children and Families, the Department of Health, and other local governments and other agencies will be an excellent start towards prevention of hot car deaths in Florida. If Senate Bill 554 is passed, lives will be saved and our family will be forever grateful because Araya will never be forgotten again. This would guarantee that her name would be forever remembered and honored. If the life of just one child is saved, Araya would not have died in vain. I'm sorry. You're okay, take your time. Again, we're thankful. for the efforts of all of our lawmakers, especially Senator Jennifer Bradley and State Representative Chuck Brannon, because they listened and they are actively working to ensure no other families lose a child like we lost our precious Araya. Passing this bill into law would speak volumes about the commitment to serving and protecting the children and the families of Florida. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Page, and we are, we're so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Thank you for coming up here and sharing your testimony. Thank you.